Greetings and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within, where in this episode we are going to be going back out there to rescue Lelith. She has been gone far too long. It is high time she return home and bring back with her all of that valuable exalt information. So let's get on with that. Covert data recovery. Send extraction squad. Right. Launch mission. Excellent. Now, who are we going to take with us? This is probably going to be a good time to take a couple of people out there who... Hmm, who haven't had an opportunity to level up much yet. Um, I'm going to drop Brandy Bear from this mission. And we are going to take... Um, we're going to take Emily Shelab. Let's see about setting you up. Carapace armor. Ooh. Light plasma weapon, because you've got fairly low aim naturally. A scope that brings you up to 84, which is, you know, comparable. And let's give you a grenade as well. Actually, no. We're going to swap the carapace from Alice Samsara. And you can go with the nanofiber vest for now. Yeah, I think that's going to be better. There we go. You are a new recruit, so uh, we want to give you every opportunity to stay alive in this mission. Right, but we have got the plasma weapons that we can now give out. This is fantastic. Major Wareth is going to have a plasma weapon. And you're going to stay with the scope, but that brings you up over 100. Hey, no, in fact, that, quite a lot over the 100. And also Evelyn. Let's get you with a plasma weapon too. My lord. 127 aim you now have. That is glorious. Though you could do with a... Hmm, yes, I think we will. We're going to make some money and quickly get Evelyn a carapace. Let's sell some of this. We'll sell this down to 700. There's going to be a lot of clicking. I apologize. In fact, we'll only sell it down to 800 because that's far too much clicking. I wish it was like a a slider or something like that that I could just do in one go rather than have to click a bajillion times. Right, let's see. We would like to buy items, please. And I would like some more chitin plating, not carapace plating. That's going to cost 56. We'll buy two. Submit order. Now, is there anything else I can buy here? Uh, no. But, is there anything I can do in the foundry? Heavy weapons platforms. Um, well, you know what? I could actually set these up to go. I'm not sure how long they would take, though. No, we'll, we'll wait in, on that until we return from the mission. Let's actually get out there and get Lalith back. We miss her. I miss all of my troops when they're away for too long. Right, we want Samsara. We're not going to be facing anything which can strangle us, but it's significantly better armor. And we will also be giving that to Evelyn instead of the grenade. I know this means that she's not going to be able to uh, engage with a grenade, but her health is really low. It's one of the lowest healths that we've got out of everyone in our entire barracks, uh, the whole squad that we've got. Uh, everyone else is pretty good. I am content with this. Let us begin. You're probably going to see me using uh, the chitin plating and scopes quite a lot on a lot of my soldiers, I think. Especially the assaults. It makes a lot of sense to have someone who's going to be rushing out there having that kind of defense. We're moving to eliminate an exalt cell currently operating within the United States. Very well. We need to protect our assets in this area in order to secure the necessary... I find it interesting that the ones who are equipped with plasma weapons have got um, different sort of uh, embellishments and details on their armor. Okay, this map. Um, I'm not familiar with this one, actually. This looks interesting. Was in position okay. to transmit the data they'd acquired when Exalt forces moved into their AO. The encoder is currently shielding our transmitter's position. 
But if Exalt manages to hack the encoder, oh, okay. they'll be able to locate the transmitter. If they hack both, any hope we had of recovering the data intact will be lost. Okay, so we, we need to protect this. Alright. Let's see. Where is Evelyn? There we are. Evelyn, I need to have eyes on everything going on over here. So let's get you over there straight away. Alright. Now, have we got our operative? There is Lelith. Fantastic. Now, Lelith, I need you equally to move quickly. Alright, we should be able to get eyes on all of the enemies fairly easily. And Lelith can always hack the uh, comma rays to disable our opponent's weapons. So we should be able to move freely, at least early on. Shelab, of course, can use run and gun if she needs to get a little bit further. Aye, aye, Commander. All right, so Revocane is the squad leader. Samsara, you have got snapshot, so I don't I'm need to worry move. too much about you moving. It's a slight penalty to your will, but uh, you tend to be able to work past that. Hmm. I'm going to have Dry just dash for now. Let's get out there. And finally, Cerberus. I need you somewhere central, Cerberus. But not too far behind, otherwise Moving something up. could drop behind you. Though this area is probably quite safe for us, honestly. But that should be good for now. Okay, everyone into Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. We haven't got eyes on this area yet. We need to make our way over this soon. Okay. Right. Evelyn, how close can you get? You can get all the way over here. And that would give you sight on part of it. That's not high enough cover, but that is. Okay, get down there. Let me know who's near. No one yet, okay. Right. Where is Lalith? Now, Lerith can take cover by anything, pretty much. But I will have her take cover here. No. I'll have her take cover by the comma ray. If she needs to use it on the next turn, she can. Exalt has a number of communications relays nearby. Indeed they do. If our operative can get in close to one and use the encryption keys recovered with the enemy data, they should be able to temporarily disable Exalt's comm systems. Which has the uncanny effect of stopping them from shooting. I don't understand it myself, but uh, the boffins in the lab tell me that's how it works. Alright, Cerberus, you can hold your position there. She lab. I would actually like you to make some steady progress up here so go into that cover it's perfectly safe we can see every possible attack angle on that position so I know it was okay to put you there and Samsara oh, damn I can't really get you to anyway good well you're just gonna have to dash on this one right, Drag. I would like it if Drag could get up near Lalith at some point, what I would like to do is get... Uh, I suppose I could do it now, whilst everything seems quiet. Up here somewhere would be fantastic for Cerberus. There will do. We're taking some risks, but... Uh, it's kind of put us in a bad situation because we need to protect this area and it's miles away. Okay, it sounds like they're coming in. There they are. Oh, bugger it, there's a lot of them. Go Revoking. Well done. That was some really good damage there. And you can maybe rocket them as well. 
assault unit attempting to hack the encoder. Yes, we do. If we don't prevent them from gaining access, they're going to find the transmitter's coordinates. Worry not. Rever King's rockets will prevent them. Okay, now these do eight damage. It should kill everything there. We don't want to destroy the actual encoder itself. Just want to destroy everyone else. This will kill four people in one go. Firing rocket. Good man. That mayhem ability is fantastic. Though he survived. He had one more health. Damn it. Wasn't planning on that. Okay, you've got sight on a couple of people with Cerberus. Right, you've got sight on him. On him. And on him. Uh, go for him. Take him out. He's hacking. We don't want him to even have a turn alive in that zone. That should protect it. Oh, it was in the zone. Fantastic. Well, then you can finish him off as well if you can. If this works... Glorious! In the zone is already starting to pay off. Right, Shelab, we need you in position with that plasma weapon. We've only got a 44% chance, though. My lord, that's bad. Hmm. Has anyone else got a better chance? You've got an 87. Samsara has no chance at all. What about Drag? No, no way. He's got no vision on that area at all. Alright, Drag, let's get you up here and see if you can see anything. No. Damn it. Alright. I think I'm going to send... Ah, this is a difficult decision. Evelyn could move forward and throw a grenade. That would hurt him a lot, and then Shelab might be able to finish him off with a shot. But that is asking a lot. It's asking an awful lot, honestly. I could flush. But we haven't got enough people Overwatch in Overwatch to really do any damage to him. Um... I'm going to grenade it and try to remove the cover. The more cover we... Well, actually, having said that, he's going to have to move into this position to try and hack, which means he's going to have to expose himself. Okay, Shelab, just take the shot on him for now. You may destroy his cover anyway. You might hit. There we go. It's now down to half cover. Fantastic. Samsara could move in, but I don't think that would be the wisest thing to do. She's only in half cover there. Uh, up here would be a little bit better. Let's do this. I know this is taking someone out of the potential to overwatch, but... Um, you've got 100% on him. But I don't think you're going to do enough damage. And Wareth isn't close enough. Okay. I'm going to hack this. Wait a second. No, we've got enough health that we should be able to take a hit. You know what? Take the shot, Evelyn. I don't give you enough opportunity to do this. What would rapid fire be like? 92% for both shots. Yeah, take it. That's a hit. And that's a kill. Fantastic work, Evelyn. Okay, and we don't have to hack anything. Fantastic. Alright, Drag, let's get you in a little closer. Whilst we've got the time. And that goes the same for you as well. I want to know exactly what's going on. Alright. On that is okay. So we've got one up here, which is a little bit of a problem. One down here as well? No? Okay, phew. I was going to get a little bit panicked with that. Right, now. let's get in there, Revocane. Who's got eyes on him? You have. On whom? Okay. 
75% chance, yeah, I'm happy with that. It looks like a kill. Fantastic work. Now, Evelyn should be clear to move because no one can see her. So let's get her up close and personal. She's within range now to grenade this if she needs to. For the time being, though, I just want her to reload. Will that reveal her? Oh, well, in that case, I'm not going to hunker her down in the future. I'll just have her reload her weapon, even if it's full. I didn't even think of that. All right, Shelab, you can remain on Overwatch for now. Now, you've got a 100% chance to hit, but you're not going to do that much damage. I think it would be better for you. Hmm. It would be better for you just to hunker down, I think. Ravikane is on Overwatch. Drag is on Overwatch. Samsara could be on Overwatch. In fact, I think Samsara should be on Overwatch. Oh, balls. Wasn't expecting that, but okay. 100% chance of critical. You may be able to kill him. Counter sniped. Taken care of. Well done. Okay. I want to keep this area locked down. We've got a fairly good position for everyone right now. I'm going to keep you there for now. Some stars in a good location. Um. Honestly, I'd rather place you there. And Cerberus, I want you... Ah, oh, damn, you can't reach it. That's a shame. Well, I'm gonna dash you up there then. I want you in this corner. I might actually place uh, Lalith over there instead. But this looks good for now. Oh, balls. Didn't mean to overwatch you. Looks like I can't have them uh, reload if they don't need to. It's a shame. Exalt reinforcements are in the area, Commander. Unless I use that backspace. Oh, it looks like someone's taken a shot already. Where are you stood? Okay. Everyone is taking the shot. <laughs> My lord. You appeared in a very bad place. I've got to be honest with you. You should probably have just not gotten out of the helicopter. Right. We've got one person who's open there. We've got a person 100%, 96. You could take a shot. Can Cerberus take a shot at all? No. Okay. Cerberus would probably be able to take a shot and kill him with a pistol. Right. Let's have a look. Shelab, let's see if you can get this kill. Uh, now, see, I, I would rather kill the other one. 96. I could go for a suppression, but you've got a good chance of actually hitting him. Oh, that was terrible. Damn Indeed, damn it. Samsara. Right, let's get you over there. Oh, okay, we've got uh, someone else. I'd rather you go for him. I forgot about that one up there, and that was silly. It was my fault. All right. Let's see what we could do. Probably get Ravikane up here. I can actually get him over here in one go. We are going to be able to kill that thing, so that's not an issue. Alright, I want Shelab to get the kill for experience purposes, so take that shot. Oh, that's a long way down. Now, next, I want 
Cerberus to move up to this corner, and this is where he's going to be sniping from now on. Who else can I move? Ravikane, who could... Well, no, he can't rock it now. And there's not high enough cover around here. Okay, fine. Right. Cerberus, you take a shot at him with your pistol. There we go. That's not too bad. Two damage. And I would like you to move around there and hack it. That will prevent them from being able to shoot my uh, exposed soldiers. And you still got to move, do you? Uh, you can... What can I do? End turn, backspace, soldier info. Yeah, end turn. Okay, he's going to have to try and hack. And as long as I kill him in this turn, then that's the end of his hack attack, basically. Right, let's swap to this. Now, is that too close? No, it's fine. Go ahead. 95% chance of critical naturally. There we go. In the zone. Can you reload? Yes, you can. Fantastic. That was amazing. <laughs> that was completely unplanned as well. Right, Shelab, you go ahead and reload. Lalith, I want you to stay there. Samsara, you're going to be in Overwatch. Where's Ravikane? Ravikane, I would like you up here. You're a little bit too exposed there for my liking. I could place you up here, actually, and you'd have a fairly wide angle of attack. You could even attack things that were back over on this side. So, yeah, that would actually be a better place for you to be. So, let's get you up there. Because then you can use your rockets from there as well in, in both directions if need be. Now, I'm going to have Lelith move down to this one from now on. Or over to this one, perhaps swaps places with Evelyn. Simply because I want her near something that can hack if there is a need. As far as you, I think it's important that you reload. So yeah, Evelyn, let's get you away from there. Let's instead put you somewhere like here. Running. We've got enough people who can see that, so it shouldn't be a problem. And Lalith can get all the way down there and just hold position on that device. I thought she was going to run straight into drag there. That would have been really, really nasty of you. Fantastic. I don't anticipate that we'll have any trouble doing that. Though he has got a lot of health. Oh, Samsara is taking a reaction shot. Is it going to hit? I don't know. The camera decided that that exact moment was the perfect time to move. Stupid camera. Okay, we've got four so far. Is there going to be a fifth? There may be. Oh, yes, there is. It's behind us. And they are all... Wow, there's a lot of heavies there. Okay. So we've got one out in the open. If you kill him, you'll get uh, in the zone. So let's use... Well, actually, let's see who can shoot what. You can also shoot him. That's good. You can't shoot anyone yet. That's not good. How about I get you up here? We'll keep you on the move through stealth. All right. Okay, Shelab can see him, can have an attack. Lelith can hack, which I'm probably going to use. Ravikane, can you rocket these guys? Could you get a rocket over there? Oh, damn, this shot is blocked. In fact, the shot is blocked all over the place. You, really, the only place you could rock it is over there. That's unfortunate. It's really not what I wanted. Okay, well, let's get you over here, then. There's one down there as well. Okay, right. Let's see what we're going to do. First, I would like you to attack him. 100% chance... 
Okay, that might be enough for uh, in the zone. Next. He's in cover down there. So, Ravikane, or someone, has anyone got a grenade? Ravikane's got a grenade. I would like to remove this cover and wound him so that there's another possibility for in the zone. Okay, very nicely done. In fact, that one's almost guaranteed, so we'll go for that one first. Now, if we go for him, we've got a 75% chance of critical naturally. Go for it. Make it count. Oh, no, Samsara. Indeed it is. Wow, can you... Are you not able to hit him? You were able to hit him before. That's bull. Oh, wow. All right, well, take... Well, you don't need it. That should be good enough. In the zone. Next up, we'll go for him. He's got a lower health. Might get in the zone here. No yep, that should... No, it won't be in the zone because he was in cover. Damn it. All right. Shelab, I need you to move forward. In fact, I need you to move forward again, if the truth be told, with a run and gun. Going in for the kill. I need you in position to take this guy on, or I'm counting on Lalith to be able to hack that thing so you don't get attacked. Alright, I want him dead if you please. Kill confirmed. Okay, who is left? It is just you, so go ahead and hack. That'll disrupt their weapons. Please let me hack. I was clicking like, like getting more panicked with each click that didn't work. Like, no, my entire plan was revolved around it. this. Don't let me down now. Thankfully, it heard my cries. My pleas. Okay, take a shot. You may as well. There we go. A little bit of damage there. And you're revealed. Now, you can't do much of anything, so... And neither can you. Except for run. I approve of this. I am going to destroy you utterly. Oh, you fool. You have sealed your fate. Oh, you've really sealed your fate, my god. Unless you're going to stab him. No? No stabbing? I approve. I, I'm quite thankful that there is no stabbing, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Right, dry. you can finish him off, please. There we go. All oh, these plasma guns. I love them so much. I want to rub my face all over them. I don't really, but uh, the sentiment is is there. Right. Okay. Let's let's finish him off with rapid fire, shall we? <laughs> yes. I'm gonna get two criticals, aren't I? Yep. Fantastic. That was amazing. Well done, everyone. Operation Frozen Tears. I didn't even read it. If I'd re read Frozen Tears, I might have been a little bit concerned. And that might have led to me making unwise tactical decisions. But because I was ignorant of the ominous name, it had no power over me. This is a life lesson. And another mission in half an hour. I am very, very happy with this new trend. Though it'll be slightly over 30 minutes by the time that uh, I've reviewed and promotions and all that but still near enough oh no promotions really that's a little bit sad man okay oh there we are let got a promotion fantastic you're colonel now you can have grenadier or covering fire allows reaction shot no i actually think grenadier is going to be the better one for you my god 128 natively if I give you a plasma weapon and a scope, that would be 140 aim. That's, I think that's enough to completely mitigate high cover if they don't have any other defensive bonuses. You'll get a 100% chance to attack anyone in medium cover, again, assuming they have no other like innate defense bonuses. That is amazing. That is truly amazing. If they're not in high cover, if you had rapid fire, you'd still have 100%. 
My lord, Lalith, that is truly, truly amazing. Now let's see. What kind of intel have we got? Please let it be good intel. Good intel? Oh. No? It's not an island country. Oh, it's gone now. <laughs> there was something there for a second. Well, not an island country. That's that's pretty much only... Yeah. That's ruled out the United Kingdom and possibly would have ruled out Australia and Japan if we hadn't already ruled them out. Damn you! Well, at least it's not, it's not a continent country. Not a con country on a continent. That would have been rather confusing. All right, then. I like an intel scan, I guess, but uh, no. No, that was, that was actually pretty good. And we got 193 mega ultra credits. That's what I like to see. That's going straight into the foundry. That's going to make Brandy Bear super awesome. Enjoy your new present, Brandy Bear. It's going to take 14 days, but uh, I think it's worth it. I'll make sure production begins also, can we upgrade now? Oh, damn it. No. We still can't upgrade yet. I would really like to. Cannot upgrade. Missing research. I don't know what research. Maybe it's the maybe it is the plasma. The, the sorry, the uh, Illyrian power supply that will help us with that. But I guess we're just gonna have to find out in another episode. We have got only four days to the council report, and in those days we'll also get a scope upgrade and an improved pistol upgrade. I am looking forward. Oh my good god. <sighs> Really? We're receiving several urgent requests for assistance. There are abductions and really? progress at each marked site on the Hollow Road. Well, this is what I was telling you about with uh, the satellites. It, probably once this net, once the council report has passed, this will only be able to happen in Asia, and that will be Australia and India. But I guess it doesn't matter. If, well, if Australia goes wrong, but. Uh, in fact, I'm fairly certain that all of the places that they've targeted are fairly good and could survive having... Yeah, all of them are good. Every single one. We'll go to yeah, the um, European... Well, we'll actually we'll pick the best thing. I was going to say we'll go to Europe because France has two pips, whereas all of Asia and all of uh, America, uh, North America is fine, but uh, no, we'll we'll go based on what offers the best reward, and that's a nice position to be in, to be able to just pick based on such a luxury, but that will happen in the next episode. So, for now, I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope you'll be joining me in the next. Let's get a close-up of, uh, look at you all smug there, pretending you don't know with it, right behind you. Look, Oh, he's pretending he's talking to someone as well. You ignorant swine. But I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope you will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care.